Hi, welcome to Expert Talk. I'm Venkat. Uh, today we are going to see, I mean, uh, we are going to talk about Python. Uh, you know Python, which is the most trending programming language today. In fact, most of the training technologies, Python is a default language or a preferred language. In fact, the traditional technologies, uh, today Python is a, in fact, a prepared language. And uh, uh, even there is a uh, there is a discussion uh, going on whether Python will replace uh, uh, the most training language forever, I mean the Java. Today I have an expert with me uh, who comes from 10 plus years of IT expert who is a Python expert. Uh, let's meet uh, Santosh, the Python expert. Hi Santosh, welcome to the show. Hi. Uh, yeah. So, in fact, uh, Python is the most popular language today. Uh, I have many questions to ask you today. Uh, I'll start with the basic questions. Um, okay. So, what is Python? Uh, Python. What is Python? Uh, good question. <clears throat> Python is nothing but a technology or a language or a website development tool or an automation tool. So, whatever you can consider yourself. So, Python is basically the technology which is very popular today and using that you can develop any websites, you can create your automation tools or, or you can create the customized solutions you can come up with the small customized solutions you can uh, come up with your own scripts yeah. to do whatever task you want so basically Python is just like a language what you see as a Java or any other thing so I think Python is a language as for me uh, okay so I mean, if you look at uh, the IT industry traditionally, mm. ruled by Java, mm. in fact, last 25 years, mm. um, uh, even, uh, you know, most of the people has not heard of Python, I mean, no, maybe a few okay. years back, maybe if you look at, um, uh, you know, oh. um, before 2013, mm. uh, not many people heard of Python, I mean, so why do you think, I mean, no, that the world is aligned towards Python today? A good question. Uh, why world is aligned towards Python today? We have a lot of languages, Java, C, C++, yes, why Python? Uh, it's not right that other technologies are not doing good, but it is equally right that Python is cruising towards uh, okay. its, its, its popularity nowadays. The only reason is the Python being the most simplest language what you can see today, the available most simplest language, the kind of solutions, the ready-made solution what the Python has. Okay, and the simplicity with which the Python can be implemented, the environment what we have, so how easily we can be portable in all the different environments, Linux or Windows, Linux, any kind of environment. So that simplicity and the quickness uh, which Python has probably, uh, that might be the reason where it is cruising. Uh, towards the popularity nowadays. Okay. And um, yeah, I, I I see that Python as a true a champion which is emerging today. Yes. Okay. So even you know, I come across a blogs. I mean, no, in fact, um, uh, we have a blogs in our website. You know, that Python will replace Java. Do you think? I mean, uh, one day that will happen. Uh, uh, wish. Um, I work in Python. I wish it can happen, but uh, yes. Uh, uh, currently, the world how it is going towards as I work for uh, MNC company, so I've seen a lot of projects in my career. So when I did the migrations from uh, one technology to another technology, I had the opportunity to do that from mainframes, Unix, Linux to Python. So yes, I have taken uh, some projects which we have to write in Python also, the Java applications. Uh, yeah, telling you the, as I told you earlier, the simplicity of the language is attracting the stakeholders. Okay. So people want the solutions which has to be designed in a quick time rather yeah. than investing more time rather okay. than writing a huge code. So you want the outputs in a simple code. Uh, take for that matter Google. So Google is a beautiful example where the Python is being implemented. So you know that Google is a company which uses more Python. Oh, you the Google.com. Right, right, right. right. Oh, okay. So whatever the Google search you're going to use that, right? Mm -hmm. Whatever the package in the yeah. Google. It is built on the Python uh, search because um, it's because of that effectiveness, quick, the quickness. Oh, okay. So I got an opportunity to do a certifications in Google. Yes, I have oh, okay. done some certifications in Google. Uh -huh. uh, that is where I got to know the, what is uh, the power of a Python in the companies. Okay. So I think yes, the kind, the trend is shifting today. Um, it's not 
are shocking that probably the people get aligned towards the Python okay. uh, because of its short code and the easiness. Ah, okay. Okay. So, uh, do you think uh, how long do you think the Python will grow? I mean, um, uh, I mean, you know, for example, what uh, I, uh, what I'm coming, you know, I mean, uh, we do some, I mean, no research, I mean, no, um, uh, what is happening in the market? Um, uh, I mean, seeing, I mean, you know, the Python, uh, I mean. In fact, if you look at uh, the job trend uh, in 2012, early around uh, 200 jobs used to come per month. Not even 200. I mean, I can say in 2014, around 200 jobs per month in Nokri. Then uh, in 2013, it was increased to around uh, 300 jobs. In 2015, no, uh, 16. I mean, no, 2016, around 3,000. Today comes around 9,000 jobs only in Nokri. For Bangalore vacations, now uh, why do you think uh, there are so? I mean, uh, uh, suddenly the jobs has been. Uh, gone up drastically for Python? Uh, well, <laughs> that was a good question. Uh, yes, uh, today we are seeing a drift or an increase in the job in the Python technologies. Uh, the reason is very simple and straightforward. Like, Python is a language uh, which is growing with the time. So, what I mean to say is, uh, Python is growing with future technologies. So, it might be a robotic process automation, RPA is what we call it. Uh, automating the process so where we are uh, living back our old traditional things or okay. doing manual things so yeah. automation is one of the key points where python is very strong in. so it is also strong in some of the features like nlp natural language processing ai artificial intelligence or you can think of iot ios uh, data analysis so every future concepts has been supported in python so python is moving with the time so it is moving with the future technologies yeah so uh, since it has its own modules to support uh, all these kind of concepts so definitely client get uh, really impressed with the technology to do uh, to shift their gears towards the python so i think that is the reason and definitely it's a simple language and very simplicity and you can do a solution with the ease uh, i think even that adds to this so it's like a flavor on top of it so okay. i think with all these reasons Python is gaining more popularity in the market and definitely there's a shift in the job count to the works of Python. Excellent, okay. So yeah, uh, today the language is growing towards this uh, future technologies like artificial intelligence or you can see about NLP, natural language processing or you can, you can see about the um, automation perspective which is gaining more popularity. So I think that's the reason probably. So, Santosh, in fact, um, uh, I mean, many people still used to say Python is a scripting language, and uh, I mean, um, I mean, today, uh, no, you know, scripting language we have like PHP and you know, we have Ruby. I mean, it's not widely used. I mean, mostly it is used for web application development. Uh, what do you call it as? Is it a scripting language or a full-fledged language or it's some kind of web language? Python is a scripting language as well as. Website, website development language as well as tools development language okay. so whatever you can say the python is a technology basically it's a technology so uh, first of all we should not get into the mode of uh, whether it is a scripting language web language so it is a technology so we can develop any kind of solutions out of that for example if you want to do a billing solution you can create a billing solution so backend solutions so also python is used for developing a website applications it is also used to develop tools so python is not only a scripting language so we can consider it as an all-rounder so python has a framework strong frameworks it has a django framework it has a flask it has a gui tool such as wx python tk inter using that you can create your own tools okay so you can okay. create a website you can create a tools you can write the backend processes you can automate the things so you can do all round of uh, activities which happens in an IT information technology. So uh, and you can predict the future. You can predict the data analysis or uh, anything. It's like a package. Okay. It's like a complete package okay. where you can go and excel in technology, IT technology especially. Okay. So I think it's all the scripting as well as website development, tools de development, anything. Okay. So, uh, I mean, uh, so we know Python is the most popular language today. And um, uh, in industry, I mean, no, what are the domain uh, Python is uh, used? I mean, um, uh, I mean uh, uh, can you elaborate on that? 
domains uh, as a domain, domain yeah. yeah see domains python is used in all the domains if yeah. uh, i worked in many domains like financial domain that telecom domain i worked in something healthcare sectors mm -hmm. so uh, everywhere the python has been used okay. there's nothing we can't restrict to the domains basis okay. uh, so uh, finally it is nothing but a piece of code we have to write in each domain so we have to do some particular task okay it might be code wise it might be data analysis or it might be um, data tuning parsing files database etc Okay. Anything can be supported, so I don't think the Python is restricted for a particular domain. So Python is useful in all its domain. Okay. So it is also recently it's been used in even the uh, image processing. So if you if you know that a uh, lot of image processing, video analysis, so all this automation is gaining popularity. Okay. So it is not restricted to the particular domain. So okay. Python has its own appearance and importance in all the domains. Okay. So in fact, um, I meet many people I and mean, they ask us a question whether Python is the right career I and mean, career choice they make. So, and uh, what is your input on that? Uh, good question. Uh, so I would strongly recommend that Python to be started as a career if anyone wants to build a career in the Python so they want to um, excel in the Python. Yes, it is the right choice in today's market, considering today's market and having uh, having seen what all the advantages at languages having compared to the other languages uh, and my answer is yes the python is a strong option considering today's market situation as uh, the one of the strong strong languages to go on yes. yeah so you're saying uh, going with the python is a safe options oh that's a good question I mean, uh, who can start with the python uh, there's nothing like uh, any prerequisite you want to start with the Python. So Python is a very simple language provided that so anyone can start up the learning uh, Python language, uh, even a freshers or experience. Uh, there's nothing like a time limit. So you have to uh, start the Python at that particular point. So provided the technology is very simple. So I think you can start Python at any point. So a freshers, the so freshers will definitely have that advantage if you start at the beginning of your career. So it will be um, helpful throughout as you excel through it. So even that doesn't mean that I mean experienced guys should not start with the Python. So it's also very important because today uh, the we, we can see that Python is getting more popular. So it would be uh, very easy for anyone to shift towards the Python because of its simplicity. That is what I feel. So I have a last question. Um, so, what is your advice for the people who want to enter into Python, uh, Python? I mean, as a technology or a Python career? Uh, my advice is go with the Python. Uh, um, looking the trend, what IT is going towards, based on the ease of solution and uh, the way you are arriving for the future solutions. Uh, my advice is yes, go with it and um, uh, make your best career out with the Python. And um, which is which is a winning technology. What I feel today is going with uh, that 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 pace. So my option is yes, go with it and take as a career. So. Good. I mean, so I mean, thank you for coming all the way and uh, spending time with us uh, today. And uh, have a nice day. Yeah. See you. Yeah. Same here. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Yeah. Right.